now six o'clock, a sad milestone to share with you this morning. More people have been killed in Milwaukee this year than in any previous year. Our Andrea Albers joins us now breaking down these homicide numbers and how local leaders are responding. Andrea. Good morning. This is a milestone that no one wanted to hit. It comes after a violent weekend in the city with six shootings in just four hours. Two of them were deadly. Milwaukee is now at 191 homicides with 11 days left in 2021. Last year, also a record breaking year, which does follow a national trend in 2020 across the country. We saw the largest climb in homicides from one year to the next since at least 1960. This is the time of year that folks should be, you know, thinking about wrapping Christmas presents or watching the, the Packers play. Uh, but instead, now folks are going to have to live with uh, the thought of their family members either being killed or shot. I think the root is that when you look at, let's talk about unemployment, let's talk about poverty, let's talk about housing insecurities, let's talk about families that are split up. It's nice. It's nice. It's a subtle, it's subtle. And Cavalier Johnson, who you heard from, is set to become acting mayor. The city says he says the city needs to improve violence prevention, education and gun control. In comparison, we looked at the homicide numbers in other cities where the numbers have also hit record levels in the past year. Minneapolis, which is comparable size, has had 92 homicides. That's less than half the number in Milwaukee. Indianapolis has passed Milwaukee in that city 230 so far in 2021 and in a much bigger city, Chicago. Police crime stats there show there have been 767 homicides up to this point in the year. But you're right, Andrea, no one wants to hit the milestone. No. Milwaukee has hit. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Well, this holiday.